What if I told you Britain's boldest warplane ever, the Tempest, isn't just a new jet, but a turning point that could rewrite the future of air combat? The Eurofighter Typhoon is fading out, and in its place comes a machine built to outsmart even America's F-35 and China's J-20. So how did the UK, after decades in the shadow of bigger powers, suddenly leap ahead with a sixth generation stealth fighter? Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll see why Tempest is more than an aircraft. It's a risky gamble, a symbol of post-Brexit pride, and maybe even a warning shot at the world's top militaries. Before we dive into the tech, let's talk about what's really at stake here. Tempest isn't just another military project, it's Britain's moonshot. We're talking about billions in taxpayer money, entire aerospace industries betting their future, and tens of thousands of high-tech jobs that could either spark a new golden age or vanish overnight. But it goes deeper. If Tempest fails, the UK risks sliding into permanent dependence on American jets, forever a customer instead of a leader. It would be a blow not just to its military strength, but to its national pride after Brexit. Yet if it succeeds, Britain could do something no one saw coming. Leapfrog rivals like China, Russia, even the US, and rewrite the balance of the skies. That's why every headline, every prototype, every rumor matters. This isn't just about engineering a plane. It's about whether Britain can still bend the arc of global air power or be written out of it forever. This isn't just Britain's jet. It's Britain's gamble with history itself. So what exactly is a sixth generation fighter? It's not hype. It's six breakthroughs that flip everything we thought we knew about air combat. Stealth redefined. A jet so invisible it can blind radar, vanish from thermal cameras, and trick AI itself. AI wingman. A ghost in the cockpit that watches every angle, never blinks, and can fly the mission alone if needed. Plug and play warfare. Tempest transforms at will. Missile platform, drone commander, or electronic ghost. Just swap the modules. Combat cloud. Tempest controls drones, satellites, and cyber strikes, fighting wars at the speed of light. 3D printed airframe. Forget old assembly lines. Tempest's body is born from printers, making it lighter, deadlier, and almost alien in design. Power like never before. Tempest's Rolls-Royce engines spit out a megawatt of energy, 10 times the Typhoon, enough to fire combat lasers and run hypersonic electronics. So no, 6th Gen isn't just marketing. It's everything militaries have been dreaming of since the Cold War, all rolled into one jet. But the real plot twist, Tempest did not come easy. Around the globe, rivals are watching every move, wondering if Tempest just changed the rules of the game. US Chiefs, watching Tempest closely, wondering if Britain just built the F-35's replacement. Japan, pushing for full control of Tempest production, a bold signal of Asia's rising military power. Italy and Sweden, flooding Tempest with resources and pride, staking their future on Britain's gamble. Whispers grow. South Korea, Saudi Arabia, and Australia may rush aboard Tempest, desperate not to be locked out of the future. And behind closed doors, rival engineers scramble. What's the UK's real secret? Is it the modular build? The AI? The international funding? Tempest's first flight, set for the late 2020s, will be must-see TV for every defense ministry worldwide. Why did Britain team up with these nations? Because without them, Tempest would be dead on arrival. Italy, throwing in factories and R&D might, betting its industry on Tempest's success. Sweden, supplying the radar and stealth secrets that could make Tempest untouchable. Japan, powering Tempest with cutting edge engines and JNAAM missiles built to outrun and outgun any rival. The Tempest Consortium forms a shield against soaring costs and fast changing tech. Each partner gets a piece of the puzzle and a stake in the future. And make no mistake, this isn't just a plane. It's a political message. The UK will not be sidelined. Britain is betting its industrial future, and perhaps its post-Brexit pride, on this project. Let's set the stage. The Eurofighter Typhoon was the RAF's pride, a 4.5 generation war machine that dominated Europe, until it didn't. But here's the truth. The Typhoon's days were always numbered as the US deployed F-22 Raptors and F-35 Lightnings, Russia fielded the Su-57, and China rolled out the J-20 Mighty Dragon, it became obvious. The Typhoon, for all its glory, just couldn't keep up with the arms race and stealth, AI, and electronic warfare. The UK had a choice. 
limp along with midlife upgrades, or make a moonshot. Imagine being in that strategy meeting. You're told, in a decade, any fourth gen jet will be radar bait, unmanned drones will be everywhere, hacking and jamming will rule, and AI will decide dogfights in milliseconds. It was time for an all new sixth generation fighter, something to rival or surpass the best. And so, the birth of Tempest. If you're picturing a rebadged typhoon, stop right there. Tempest's design is something out of science fiction. Tempest's signature look, sweeping delta wings straight out of science fiction, and twin angled stabilizers that make Tempest look more alien than aircraft. Tempest hides every weapon inside. Its body, one smooth glassy shadow from nose to engine, built to vanish in plain sight. Its canopy disappears into the body, forming a helmeted glare, an alien predator waiting to strike. Intakes are snake smooth and almost invisible, feeding monster twin Rolls Royce engines. No vertical tail like old school jets. This is more bird of prey than bird of war. It's not just for show. Every curve, every joint, Every dull black panel is there to dodge radars, kill speed drains, and slice through enemy airspace unseen. Pop the hood and you'll find the real shock, the tech that makes Tempest every rival's nightmare, stealth redefined. Sure, every modern fighter claims stealth, but Tempest goes further. No jagged bumps, no exposed weapons, just S-curved intakes and angled fins that scatter radar, turning Tempest into a ghost. Every weapon, every drop of fuel tucked inside. Tempest shows up as a ghost on radar, while its heat signature slips past infrared eyes. 3D printed architecture means lighter, stronger airframes, with wild organic shapes impossible in the Typhoon era. Next gen power plant. Rolls Royce set out to create an aerospace miracle. Forget clunky gearboxes. Tempest's embedded starter generators spark the engines instantly, freeing space and killing weak points. A megawatt monster, enough juice for lasers, hypersonic electronics, and cooling that makes the pilot vanish from heat seekers. Adaptive power allows Tempest to shift juice from thrust to stealth systems or sensors as the fight evolves. AI, the invisible wingman. Tempest's cockpit isn't just screens and controls. The pilot wears an AR helmet with a 360 degree digital God's eye view. An AI co-pilot that never blinks, scanning threats, predicting moves, and seizing control the instant a pilot is out. Today, it suggests tactics and commands drones. Tomorrow, it may fight alone. A war machine with no human on board. No more mavericks flying solo. This is a thinking war machine, where the human and the computer act as one. Sensor fusion and network warfare. Leonardo's multi-mode radars don't just see the enemy. They jam, adapt, and strike back instantly. Every bite of data, radar, heat, drones, melded together and beamed inside the pilot's helmet, turning him into a battlefield superhuman. Tempest is built for teamwork. It can control or direct clouds of loyal wingman drones, sending them to scout, attack, or even sacrifice themselves to protect the pilot. Weapons make the fighter. Here's how Tempest arms for the new age. Internal missile bays. Tempest is expected to carry at least six to eight long and short range air-to-air -air missiles, including ramjet-powered Meteor and the new Japanese-British JNAM. Next-gen cruise missiles. Think Storm Shadow 2.0, able to blow up ships or bunkers from hundreds of miles. Directed energy weapons. The Holy Grail. Combat lasers. Yes, really. To fry enemy drones or missiles. Loyal wingmen. Swarms of unmanned drones. UK's mosquito program. Scout, jam, spy, or bait out enemy fire. If one is lost, better than losing a pilot. Drones are cheapish, expendable, and learning fast. Tempest is the brain at the center of the automation web. But now, let's address the controversy and some big unknowns. Rewind to Brexit, the gamble that rocked European defense and left Britain out in the cold. For Britain, the humiliation cut deep. This was the country that gave the world the Spitfire and the Hawker Tempest, legends that turned the tide in World War II. With the typhoon aging out, the UK faced a chilling future, dependent on US jets, sidelined from Europe's plans. So, in a maneuver as bold as Brexit itself, Britain doubled down on a global Britain, launching the Tempest program. Billions pledged, BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo UK, MBDA, and soon international partners, Italy, Sweden, Japan. The mission? 
build a fighter that was both a symbol and a sword. Yet the rumors flew, would Tempest really fly? Could Britain afford it? Was it a tech unicorn, or just another black hole for taxpayer cash? Every great story needs stakes, and Tempest's legacy depends on overcoming the skeptics. Every breakthrough hides a dark side, and here's what the officials will never put on the slides. Can Britain really afford it? As costs climb, critics question whether Tempest is worth more than upgrades to the F-35 fleet. Technology leapfrogging. Will AI, sensors, or drone tech go obsolete before Tempest even hits the runway? Export restrictions. If allied governments shift, will critical tech get locked down or transferred to rivals? Looking at you, IP squabbles, unmanned future. Some insiders whisper, will this even be a piloted jet after 2040? Or will crews become obsolete, creating a billion dollar dinosaur in an era of cheap, swarming drones? Tempest is racing not just its rivals, but the pace of Moore's Law itself. Let's talk money and risk. Developing a sixth gen fighter isn't cheap. The UK alone expects to spend over $8 billion before 2035. That's less than the US spent on one bomber. The B-21 costs $29.5 billion, but still a financial stretch in hard times. But what's at stake is more than just military power. Tens of thousands of high-tech jobs. The rebirth of British aerospace. Leading edge exports for decades. Of course, rival experts are skeptical. Will the funding dry up? Could the tech leapfrog past Tempest before it even flies? Will shifting politics torpedo the project? Every headline, every delay fans the flames. But the race is on. Why the name Tempest? Because in World War II, the Hawker Tempest tore Nazi jets from the sky at Britain's darkest hour, a symbol of resilience, innovation, and defiance. Today, Tempest is reborn, not just as a jet, but as Britain's challenge to the US, to Europe, to China and Russia. That says, we're not done yet. Reality check, we're not at the finish line yet. 2025, the first prototype takes flight. In Preston and beyond, engineers swarm the labs, pushing new alloys, supercomputers, and AI to their breaking point. Every system, stealth coatings, 3D printed joints, digital cockpits, faces a trial by fire. After every successful flight, the skeptics shift. After every glitch, the headlines scream, Tempest delayed, cost overruns. The drama isn't just in the sky, it's in the politics, the budgets, and the dogged persistence of a tiny island nation with something to prove. Meanwhile, the world watches. Will Tempest soar or stall? Let's fast forward. Imagine a future war game. The enemy has the numbers. Britain has Tempest. Decoy drones trigger the first wave. Enemy missiles erupt. And then the real threat arrives. An invisible Tempest, leading a digital wolf pack armed with hypersonic death. Tempest's pilot barely touches the stick. The AI reacts at algorithm speed, flipping frequencies, scanning for threats, coordinating a fleet of unmanned allies. An enemy ace locks on. Tempest's smart ducting shrouds the engines, sucking power from the engine straight into cooling. AI predicts a missile launch. Tempest fires not just countermeasures, but a laser instantly disabling the attacking drone. All while the pilot is updated via AR overlays, adapting tactics, always one step ahead. Victory isn't in dogfights, it's in info wars, milliseconds, and machine minds. And this isn't science fiction. If Tempest works as promised, it's the edge in a world where split seconds decide battles. So is Tempest really the game changer Britain promises? Or just the riskiest gamble in modern aviation? Born from vision and controversy, pride and partnership, it's a jet built to prove the sky won't be ruled by anyone else. It may redefine the future, maybe it'll be leapfrogged by a swarm of cheap drones and new rivals, but history shows every true leap in warfare looked impossible until it wasn't. Tempest is more than an airplane, it's a statement, and its first roar over UK skies might be more than just a technological victory. It may be the moment Britain changed the terms of the 21st century arms race, but honestly, the best chapters still to be written. And if you're wondering what secrets the engineers are hiding and why America, Russia, and China are suddenly paying such close attention, buckle up. The next five years could get wild. But wait, if you thought Tempest was next gen, what's coming after sixth generation? That's right, the story of aerial supremacy is just beginning. Click the video on screen for the deepest dive yet into the race for seventh generation air power. You won't believe who's leading. 
or jump to the breakdown of hypersonic drone swarms now changing air warfare forever. Like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Should Britain risk it all for the Tempest, or is the era of piloted jets finally over? Let's debate below, and I'll see you in the next one.